Boys, we got so much content now with the show today. A little bit of a different starter setup. Sorry about this. But I'm filming a video before I go out for the weekend. But this is crazy. Like, this is crazy. So much. Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire. And honestly, I'm really shocked that they gave these guys new cards. Because we obviously got them in our collection packs. I was like, well, maybe we're not going to get them. But we are. There's tons of packs. There's a whole program. We're going to be breaking down how to finish the program as fast as humanly possible right now. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you smash that like and sub button because we are going to be killing this type of content as well as going over the brand new April monthly awards either later today or tomorrow. And let's get right into it. If you guys want cheap stubs, make sure that you guys go to u4gm.com and use my coupon code for 5% off your purchase. Also, U4GM is doing a crazy sale right now. You can get like 150,000 stubs for under $15. So check it out. Link in the description below. All right, boys, so we just got the brand new program and the Great Race of 98. It looks kind of crazy. Got 99 at World Mark McGuire as our guy. Pretty good stats. The one thing I'll say about this card is he has horrible vision, like horrible vision. But he has really good clutch, so maybe this card will play up definitely a lot better than the collection guy. But I think that this is going to be really fun and really awesome. Hopefully, Mark McGuire is that guy, but we're going to have to find out. 75 fielding, he's going to do all right at first base. Probably more of a DH slash first base guy. Really sucks that he doesn't have like a secondary or third base. I know he really didn't play it, but Sammy Sosa kind of looks disgusting too. This is probably, I don't know if he's a better card. He's probably not. The vision and the contact are just bad, so we're never going to use this card. The one thing I will say is this is going to help for set four collections and stuff like that. So at least we have that going for us. But 103 Clutch, not bad. I wish they would have juiced these things. They could have been a lot better. They're just not. 91 fielding at least, 80 speed and right. It's just, it's okay. We're going to be getting packs along the way. Derek Jeter's kind of a cool card. But, I mean, just the bad vision on these cards really hurts. Anything, and it kind of reminds me of the monthly awards cards. They haven't really dropped any gross free cards except for, like, Belly. And, honestly, J-Rod's not bad. It's just there's so many outfielders in the game right now. That we need infielders so mark mcguire kind of has a chance especially with set four i don't have a first baseman anymore because i had big poppy and big poppy is gone jeff bagwell is all right some of these cards are good but they're just not like amazing but we're gonna be talking about how to get this done and how to finish this program asap first things first you're gonna go through the moments for the normal moments i would just normal swing for them for the power moments for the home run moments i would definitely uh, go after it like power swinging power swinging is usually the best way to go about it But normal swing on pretty much everything else You're gonna be able to cheese a lot of it for the strikeout moments just two high fastballs in and then a slider low and away You'll be just fine But hit a homer definitely power swinging for those I just always power swing some people say normal swing, but it's veteran you power swing even if you're not close You're gonna get lucky eventually total bases normal swing you're gonna be all right um, it's pretty just rule of thumb. You're going to normal swing through these, but these are pretty good moments and you're going to do a lot of them. Pitching moments, Troy Percival, again, high fastballs, low and away sliders. You're going to be okay. And then extra base hits, normal swing. Like those are pretty simple. David Justice, he's pretty good. You're going to be all right there. Um, for Martinez, get on base three times. That's going to do the job. Nothing too crazy. Just normal swing with that. Singles up the middle. It'll do. Pitch three innings. Fastballs up and in. Sliders away. You're going to be all right. Uh, Piazza gets it done in the sixth. Uh, I mean, this is this is a little bit harder just because it's two hits and extra base hit. But again, these are veterans, so you guys really shouldn't be having that much trouble with it. Strikeout six batters. Again, just fastballs up and in and a slider away. It's going to be a little weird, but you're going to be fine. It's veteran difficulty. You have a whole game to do it. Not going to be hard. A lot of these moments are super simple and not that bad. So you're just going to finish all these moments, get the rewards. You'll get up to about 40 to 45, and you're going to be just fine. Anybody can do these. So if you struggle with skill, don't worry. These are on veteran. You're going to be fine. They're not extreme moments. It's all good. Big thing is getting the mission. So basically, whenever you get these cards through the program, the first thing you're going to do is the moments, and then you're going to do the missions. You're going to take all of these cards that you have earned, and you are going to take them into the event and the conquest. Because there's an event and a conquest, you're going to want to play throughout these. It's really simple. You're just getting a lot of strikeouts, hits, and parallel XP towards these guys. Super simple. Just keep playing the game, and you're going to be okay. Nothing crazy here, but definitely really fun. Um, so make sure you go through that. That's definitely going to be the best way to do it. 
for home run race missions too and so if you're wanting to get these done one thing i would say that you could do is you can take this team and do a hattie road of the show glitch stadium the one that i show in all my videos it's so cheesy it's so good but basically you're just gonna hit homers with this and you literally you hit a pop fly to left or a pop fly to right you're gonna be getting the home run challenges done so make sure that you're doing these missions by just doing that it's just super easy and this is something that you can do whenever you finish everything else but tallering the home runs literally just play so many seasons games on home and you're going to be just fine they're really really easy this year as far as the collections go i wouldn't really worry about them they're a little expensive and i just you don't have to do them so i wouldn't do it um definitely take these cards and do the showdown and the conquest Whenever you do the Conquest games, you're going to have to play away, though. So that way, the mini seasons and the home run moments are going to be a little bit easier because you're playing on a cheesy stadium. However, for the Conquest, it's not going to be. But you're going to be getting a lot of progress because you get 20 stars for that. So just make sure you do that in the showdown. You don't have to do one of them. So if you want to go the other route and not do one of them, if you want to just do the Conquest, if you suck at showdown. But the showdown is really easy. They put people on base and stuff. So you're going to be okay. Boys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do and you want to see more like this, make sure you smash the like and sub button. It really helps me out a ton. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day, and peace.